What up, y'all? Chargers Truth are coming to you Thursday, April 25th, day one of the draft. The Chargers just picked tackle Joe Alt. Um, this dude is a huge human being, 6'8", 315. We picked him at fifth overall, no trades, um, straight up Joe Alt. A lot of people, including myself, thought we were going to go after a wide receiver. It was This pick was shocking yet revealing. You know, I'm always the type of person to preach about building in the trenches, building the run game, building an offensive line and the defensive line. But I still somewhat, you know, I still thought that we were going to go after a receiver. Malik Neighbors was on the board um, after letting go of Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. Jim Harbaugh said, hold my beer. Watch this. This dude out outshined me or whatever in terms of the run game, in terms of the trenches. And it shows us that our number one priority is this man right here, Justin Herbert. We're going to, our whole thing is keeping this dude, you know, safe, healthy. He missed, he got injured last season, missed the last four games of the season. That could be a make or break, you know, part of the season. It's the most important part of the season, the end of it, obviously. We're going to freaking invest in the trenches, run the damn ball, you know, diversify this offense. Right now we only have... You know, we're lacking at a lot of positions, including um, including receiver. But, you know, I get it. I understand it. I like it. I'm not mad. I, I like this pick. You know, I've got to say, Joe Alt, 6'8", 315 pounds. This dude is going to be an anchor. We got Rashawn Slater. Now we got Joe Alt. We are setting the freaking trenches. We're setting the cornerstones of this offensive line. Um, and it is what it is. Let's see. Let's see. First of all, though, I'm here drinking a Modelo because this dude is a model of a tackle model of a you know offensive lineman model football player this is this guy's a a modello you know he's a model model tackle cheers all right let's see this left tackle right here handling this dude this dude ain't good nowhere easy pass over there <clears throat> yeah i mean reminds me a decent about amount like uh, Rashawn Slater, the way that they bend, their benders. Look, he's he's got the fundamentals. He's got the, you know, the technique. This dude is a technician. He's got the size, 6'8". It's huge. Now this dude coming out in space, sealing off the edge. You know. Left tackle right here. He's a puller. He's pulling as a left tackle. Jeez. And just gets his hands on the, and the, on that def, you know, defensive player and, it, he didn't even really have the momentum. This dude is, yeah, he's, I don't know. He's He just seems like a cornerstone player. This dude just plug and play right here. <clears throat> I think that Joe Alt right here, dude, this guy has all the tools, everything you really need to be a, um, a tackle or an offensive line, a tackle in the NFL. He's got the size. He's got the technique. He's got the, you know, power. He's got everything. What what does he not have? What are the knocks on him? And also got to say, his dad is John Alt. This guy was, you know, a huge, impactful offensive lineman for 13 years for the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, so he's got the family line. He's got the bloodline. He's got everything. This guy is going to be, you know, one of Herbert's best friends. Him and Rashawn Slater building the trenches. Let's go. Yeah, dude, this guy is just literally, he's like a wall. He's literally a freaking wall. He just, we're just going to put this dude at right tackle. Most likely, Rashawn Slater, had, you know, deserves that left tackle spot. Injuries happen, though, knock on wood. But I'm just saying this dude, it's like someone you could just put there and you don't have to worry about it, bar injuries, you know, but you don't have to worry about this dude. Look at him. Look at his freaking, his chop steps. His sidesteps, you know, his just, he's not overreaching. He's not doing nothing. You know, he's not desperate. He's just doing exactly what you do as a tackle. He's got all the skills, everything you could ask for. All right, right here, Joe Alt. Let's go. Goal line formation. Blocks a dude, chips the other dude. Springs, Audric Estime for a touchdown. Running right off his back. Knocks the dude. Literally blocks two dudes in this goal line formation. Freaking, that's crazy, you know, you really do not, you, two dudes, 
he opened the hole like by himself and more run blocking right here this is what this is what i like to see i already know this dude can pass block let's see him run block just stonewalling the dude open turning his hips opening the hole up like freaking moses did with the c's look at this dude that dude he gets his hands on these guys and these guys are out of the play they're out of the play they're done look at him he's chop he's sidestepping he's chopping his feet he's keeping his balance he's keeping his his body right oh my god handling that inside linebacker if he gets onto the these linebackers they're gonna be done you know this guy's obviously a young kid but yeah he's got dude if this guy look he's got the athleticism he's not just a big bulky dude that's gonna be like freaking plopping around and freaking falling down and stuff this dude keeps his feet under him these dudes got nothing to to do these guys are out of the play when this guy is blocking these players look at him dude this guy is literally a model tackle gotta be happy about this you know Look at that guy. Blocked two guys. Blocked the dude back and took on a rushing dude and blocked him too. Two dudes. This guy is capable of blocking two dudes. This guy, yeah, looks like a, he probably is the best offensive lineman in this draft. Great at pass blocking. Very good at run blocking as well. I don't know what the knock on this dude is. Maybe he's not as much as a mauler as, you know, other line, other offensive linemen in the world you know but um dude he's gonna be the type of dude that's gonna be starting on our team for his whole career this dude might play his entire career for the chargers and that's you know what more can you really ask for you know maybe you could say we needed something else at this position but dude we're getting a great player right here it seems like someone that's gonna spark the whole team you know tom telesco always had issues in the run game always had issues with the offensive line protecting the quarterback although he did invest in Rashawn Slater and Zion uh, Williams or Zion Johnson my bad but um, yeah guys goal line right here moving the dude and opening the freaking hole getting a touchdown the running back jumps right behind him look at this right in the trench the trenchman too turning the dude Another play. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Look at this fool mauling the guy. Throwing the dude out of like five to ten yards out of the play. Watch this one more time. This dude thought he was going to come in for a rush. This dude, dude, that dude needs to get a desk job. That dude needs to probably go into like sales or pick up another job. That dude's done playing football pretty much. You know, I don't know who he is, but uh, all due respect, this dude got dominated. <clears throat> so that right there you know joe alt love what i'm seeing out of this out of this tape huge freaking size athleticism balance pass blocking run blocking does everything right his dad was a 13 year year you know quality professional for the kansas city chiefs got the bloodline um really nothing to knock on this guy you know this dude is gonna be the i guess right tackle for the Chargers, protecting Justin Herbert, getting this run game going, cornerstone of our team. Um, it's a good, very good pickup, great pickup. The only knock on this pick would be that we needed maybe receiver or something else more, but we still have a lot of picks, a lot of offseason left to go. He's going to be right here at right tackle opposite of uh, Rashawn Slater. Two very good first-round pick tackles. Um, so, you know, before the season... I, you know, before the draft, I rated each position group, but now, you know, I gave our tackles a seven with uh, Pipkins and Slater, but honestly, with Joe Alt, I got to bump that up to a nine now. We're at a nine, and in the in the trenches, in the offensive line, that's what you guys, that's what we like to see. It's the foundation of our offense, of our team, you know, uh, if you don't have a foundation, you have a weak foundation, you're going to have a weak team, doesn't matter who's you know, playing receiver, who's at running back, who's at whatever. If you can't protect your quarterback, this dude's getting hit, he has got no time, your your whole team is gonna is gonna be dysfunctional. 
as the Chargers have been for so long. So happy to see this. You know, we're building the foundation. You can't just skip the foundation and start building the house already. You need to step, you need to do the steps one, two, three, four, five. You ever done Legos? You don't just skip to step 10. You know, you need to do steps in order. This is the foundation. You know, uh, Jim Harbaugh is building this team from the ground up. He's, you know, Tom Telesco sucks. This dude was terrible. Left us with a bad roster, and it showed last season. Jim Harbaugh was like, yeah, this is, there's a lot of work to do. This is a project. You know, we're going to have to just redo this whole damn thing. We're going to redo this whole freaking roster, this whole depth chart, this whole team, and we're going to build it up our way. And that's probably where you start. Tackle, offensive line, you know, something like that. Uh, we already got the quarterback, we know, so. It is what it is, guys. Honestly, cheers. I'm, I'm happy. Cheers. That's all I got to say from a first pick in the draft. I'll be here for the rest of the the, re the rest of the draft. Um, already been drinking a little bit, but uh, having a good time. Hope Chargers. You know, how, how can we be sad getting a dude that is so good at, at football? You know, it's a win-win. It's hard to lose at at the fifth pick. So this is a happy day. Exciting. Get Joe Alt on this team. Meet him with the whole team. Get him freaking practicing already. This dude is about that business. He's he's no nonsense. I can tell he's serious. He's gonna be a good teammate. Um, got again from his dad. His dad knows how to how to teach him, how to freaking direct him, how to take care of him, or whatever, how to raise him. Probably raised great. Um, I don't know what else to say. Good good shit, Chargers. Let's go. Let's run the. Let's protect Justin Herbert. This jersey needs to be clean. This needs to be clean in 2024 in this coming season. No more Herbert injuries. No more freaking scrambling and freaking trying to do hero ball. Let's run the damn ball. Keep Herbert clean. Let's see what, what the rest of the picks are going to be. Chargers shoot them out. Let's go. 2024 coming for the playoffs for the Super Bowl. Um, Jim Harbaugh, let's go. Thank you.